Hello everyone, this is Brady Webb and I am the Library Media Specialist at West Elementary. Hello, West Elementary students. Today, I'm going to be reading The Incredible Book Eating Boy. This book is written by author Oliver Jeffers and he is also the illustrator. Henry loved books but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Henry loved to eat books. It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't sure at first and he tried eating a single word, just a test. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then a whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. By Wednesday, he had eaten a whole book. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. Henry loved eating all sorts of books. Story books, dictionaries, atlases, joke books, books of facts, even math books. But red ones were his favorite and he was going through them at a fierce rate. But here's the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. He ate a book about goldfish, and then he knew what to feed Ginger. Before long, his father's crossword puzzles in the newspaper he could do. And he was even smarter than his teacher at school. Henry loved being smart. He thought if he kept going, he might even become the smartest person on earth. So he kept eating books and he kept getting smarter and smarter and smarter. He went from eating books whole to eating three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussy and he wanted to know it all. But things started going not quite so well. In fact, they started going very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. He was beginning to feel ill. Bite, chew, 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 gulp, green, greener, greenest, ugh. But here's the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting all mixed up. Two plus two equals elephant? He didn't even have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. Suddenly, Henry didn't feel very smart at all. More than one person told him he should stop eating books. So Henry gave up eating books and sat sadly for a long time. What was he to do? Then 
after a while and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half-eaten book from the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up and began to read. And it was so good. Henry discovered that he loved to read and he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. It would just take a little bit longer. Now, Henry reads all the time. And although every now and then, when he gets a little bit hungry, he might take a bite just for a little snack. And that's the end. Boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed this book. Oh, there's a disclaimer on the back. It says, disclaimer, please do not try to eat this book at home. So that's a little bit of advice for you guys. So that's it for Storytime with Miss Webb. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day.